a lot of talking in the last few videos about Pro Tools, Pro Tools HD, and how it works with our new HDX hardware. And I showed you in the playback engine how many channels you've got and how many voices you've got with just one card or two cards or three cards. Now, in this specific studio, we've got this linked up to two of our new HDIO series. Here we have them here. This is two 16 channel HDIO. So in this studio, we've got a current max of 32 IO and a lot of power. Now, this is what replaced our 192s. We're very happy with the 192s. However, they're getting a bit old in the tooth. It's older technology. We were very proud of them at the time. We're still proud of them. However, as we get nearer to 64-bit and we get nearer to where we want to go, we needed to make some changes and bring in some new hardware and also give you more quality, better A to D and D to A conversion, lower latency, and all that put together comes in as the HDIO. Now, one thing I'd like to mention here, if you've bought one of these or you're considering buying one of these now, remembering and thinking about the fact that Pro Tools is still a 32-bit app and you're worried about what will happen when we go 64-bit, don't worry, these are ready for 64-bit. That's one of the reasons why we've come up with this new hardware series now, so that when we go 64-bit, you guys are already out there in studio land to, to come with us on that journey. Now, the A to D and D to A conversion is a lot improved on what we've managed to do in the past. We've also had to redo the power rail, we've had to redo the power supply to help work with that conversion. And during all of that, as I said, we've managed to bring that latency down even further. So now with our new HD series, with the HDIO and the HD Omni, you've got the lowest latency possible with a PCIe-based digital DAW. So we're very, very proud of these systems.